Google is hailing a new era of intelligence with the next generation of Gemini. Gemini 3 is an upgraded artificial intelligence model that the tech giant says will require users to do less prompting to get the desired results. Tessa Bennett joins us in studio with the details on today's announcement from Google. Tessa? Manisa, Google has high hopes for this latest version of Gemini, with Google DeepMind's senior director saying it'll bring the company closer to making information universally accessible and useful. It's also a chance for the tech giant to leap ahead of OpenAI following the rocky rollout of GPT-5. Gemini 3 is the strongest model in the world for multimodality and reasoning. It's our most intelligent model that helps you bring any idea to life. Google is turning up the heat in the AI race with the launch of its latest model, Gemini 3, in a bold challenge to open AI. Google's DeepMind division has officially rolled out Gemini 3 Pro, the newest generation of its multimodal AI, now powering Google Search and the standalone Gemini app. We're even introducing a new platform, Google Antigravity. It's our vision of software development at the frontier of model intelligence. It lets you use Gemini 3's agentic coding capabilities to accelerate how you build. The tech giant says this new model offers smarter, more efficient responses than ever before, giving users what they need with less prompting. A core part of this strategy is integrating Gemini 3 into Google's existing ecosystem. I think it becomes a little bit confusing still for the average person who uses Google products to try to figure out what the difference is between Google.com and Gemini and AI Studio. And so we still have some work to do when it comes down to the public relations side and really understanding what one release means over the other. With Gemini 3, Google is betting on scale. By embedding its most advanced artificial intelligence to date in its existing products, it can easily reach billions of users. Something OpenAI that doesn't own a massive search engine may find hard to match. I think what we're starting to see is that Google has listened to their audience and they understand that the AI world is quite confusing. What they're doing with Gemini 3 is that they're releasing it for both the user, which is average everyday people that are interested in Google related products, but also for developers. On the performance front, Google claims Gemini 3 will eventually be faster, cheaper and more efficient. And for corporate customers, Gemini 3 can seamlessly complete tasks like creating employee onboarding and training programs programs and handle procurement. This launch comes at a crucial moment. OpenAI has recently upgraded its flagship model, GPT-5, to version 5.1, intensifying competition between these two AI heavyweights. But media consultant Mohit Rajans says Google still has some work to do to keep up with industry standards. But make no mistake about it, the reason that they're rapidly releasing these products are because of companies like OpenAI and other companies like Microsoft that are doing some great things and are already sort of traditionally in some of these businesses. So Google still has to make up some ground because they're not a traditional AI company and they're not necessarily number one when it comes to enterprise. So it'll be interesting to see if this is the final thing that make people think, yes, it's time now for Google to be a part of our 360 outlook. Whether Gemini 3 can outpace OpenAI in real world usage will largely depend on how effectively Google weaves it into its massive product portfolio and if it can deliver on the promises it's making. This is just the beginning of our Gemini 3 series. It's another critical step on the road towards making AI more intelligent and personal for you. Many of the core components of Google's new Gemini 3 are available already across a suite of Google products, with Gemini 3 DeepThink coming later, once it's assessed by safety testers.